Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the ENE.SYS driver error you're experiencing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer that's preventing a driver from loading on this device. The error message will read that a driver cannot load on this device and the driver is ENE.SYS. A security setting is detecting this as a vulnerable driver and blocking it from loading. You'll need to adjust your settings to load this driver. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we are going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in File Explorer. Best match, or come back with File Explorer. Go ahead and open that up. Select the three-dot icon near the top right where it says See More. Go ahead and select that. And then select Options. Select the View tab, and then underneath Hidden Files and Folders, you want to select Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives, and then select Apply and OK. And then select this PC on the left panel. Double-click on your local disk where Windows is installed. And then there should be an ene.sys file in here. You want to go ahead and right-click on that and select the Rename option or F2 on your keyboard in order to rename it. Just add a letter or a number at the end of the ENE, and then just keep the SYS, the dot SYS at the end. Select yes to rename the file there. Continue for file permissions. And then once you've done that, you should go ahead and restart your computer and see if that has resolved the issue. Now, if you're still having a problem, you might want to try to attempt to disable memory integrity and see if that's preventing you from loading the device. And then you can re-enable once you're done that action you, that you were having the problem with, but we can attempt to temporarily turn it off and then run the file again, see if we're having the issue. So open up the search menu and type in core isolation. Best match, to come back with core isolation. Go ahead and open that up. The memory integrity, I'd recommend turning this to the off position. So if it's toggled on, you want to go ahead and toggle it to the off position. And then you do want to restart your computer. And then hopefully this point of issue has been resolved and if you are able to run the file successfully, you're not having the issue with that driver anymore, you may want to re-enable the memory integrity option. Again, pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.